guys. Uh, yesterday I put a um, post up on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you don't know, I'm on Instagram now. I'll link that below. Um, asking if you guys had any questions for me for my video, which I missed Friday, which I tried to do my question and answer and my um, mail I got on Fridays, and I totally missed it because we were busy. Um, so I asked you guys for uh, questions, and I've got them taped up on the wall in front of me, and I thought I'd answer them while I groom Mr. Mozzie here, which I just used the um, pet dryer I got off Amazon, and it works great. It works great. So I'll be um, posting that video soon on the uh, pet dryer. And if I have it done, I'll link it below. I'm not sure which one I'll have up first. I'll probably have that one up after my question and answer video today. So, so I thought I'd answer him while I groom him and hopefully you'll be able to hear me over the clipper. So I'm going to talk loud. So if I'm too loud, you may have to turn your volume down. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn on the clippers and just kind of mozzie is very scared of everything to do with grooming. So whenever I start grooming them, as you see, I, he lowered his head. I turn on my clippers and there, it's on the loudest right now. And I just kind of let him get used to the um, noise for a minute. Because <laughs> he is a big baby when it comes to baths, grooming, brushing, everything. So I'm just going to pet him while the clippers are on. And let him get used to the noise since... He hasn't seen a clipper in about six to eight weeks. I can't remember when I groomed him last. So let him get used to it. And now I'm going to stand him up. Mozzie always wants to sit down when I groom him, so I'm probably going to be picking him up a lot when I'm grooming him. Okay, the first question. Now, I wrote down the questions, but I didn't write down who asked them. And some people ask multiple, but I'm just going to do them kind of. I'm just going to do the questions. I'm not going to say who asked or anything like that. Just go through them. So the first one was... Why all boys? Well, my husband wanted, when we got Mozzie, our shepherd mix was a girl. And she had, had she had incontinence problems and stuff like that. And my husband was like, I want a boy this time. We had to give her um, pills. See, he wants to sit down. We had to give her pills most of her life for her incontinence issues. And I think it's because our vet at the time, and it was our first dog, we didn't know. I think she was new to, or uh, spayed too early in life. And I've read up now that that can cause incontinence issues in girls. So I'm not saying for sure that's what it was, um, but we noticed pretty early on in age she had problems with uh, leakage. Uh, and stuff and she had she would get a lot of urinary tract infections so anywho um, so my husband was like I want I want a boy this time and that's before we knew we would have four other boys so once we um, got Mozzie see gotta pick him up you gotta stay standing up Moz um, you got <laughs> you can't lay down and you can't sit down no no and I can't put this on him right now because it'll be in my way um, when I'm trying to run the clipper down his back. So anyways, we just, there was no real purpose behind it except that, I mean, our, our German sh uh, shepherd mix, Ginger, that she had the incontinence problem and uh, we just didn't want to have to hopefully deal with that again with a boy. Which we've had to deal with tons of other stuff <laughs> with our schnauzers. But, that's the reasoning behind boys, I guess. And once we had Monty and we decided to get others, we just thought we were going to stick with boys. And they all seem to get along great. Um, they don't get in fights. Uh, do they sometimes play a little rough? Yes. Um, yeah, lift your head up too, bud. But they don't fight or anything. Sorry if I'm in the way of the grooming. I, this is meant to be more of a just answering questions, not really showing how to groom. I just thought I'd do it while I was grooming him. Okay, so, uh, next one. How did I teach uh, Mickey to play fetch? Um, I was 
thinking about that one, and I don't really remember if I taught him or if he just did it. Um, he just knew that if he kept wanting to chase the ball, he had to bring it to me. So I don't know that I really taught him. He just brought it back to me. Now, some of my boys tried to call him and get him to bring it back to me. They don't want to. They just want to keep the ball for themselves and chew on it and bite it. And, <laughs> and then when they do want me to throw it, they'll bring it to me. But I think he's the only one that will consistently just hurry up and bring it to me to throw. So, um, which one is a mama's boy? Um, Mickey was a mama's boy. He wanted to know everywhere it's at. Follow me around. Magnum's kind of getting that way, so I don't know if they're both going to be mama's boy, but Mickey is uh, the mama's boy out of all of them right now. Um, what time? What times do I feed my dogs? I feed them um, seven, one, and seven. And if I don't wake up till eight, I don't feed them till eight, and then I feed them around two and then eight. So. I'm not real strict with it, but I try to space it out like that. So usually we're up by 7.30, and then I'll just still feed them at 1 and then 7. Um, how often do you groom your schnauzers? I groom them about every 6 to 8 weeks. Just depends. Depends on how, life, how busy life is at the time and how uh, hairy they're getting. And in between the groomings, I will still clean up their butt area, clean up their feet, clip their toenails, clean up around their eyes, at least one time between groomings. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting distracted with what I'm doing with his leg. Okay. What is your go-to treat of choice? I don't really have a go-to treat of choice, either ones I make or ones I buy. I just make sure they're low fat and that I try to get ones that are pretty much made um, in the United States, not in China or someplace like that. So I don't really have a go-to um, treat of choice. Let's see. How do you... How did you teach your dogs to walk properly on a leash? Well, that's kind of a hard one to answer too. So I didn't really have any specific type of way I did it. I just made sure when they first started walking that the leash, what they didn't have much control of how far they could go. Because I do use one of those leashes where it can um, come out so they can walk, you know, and then you can pull them back in. Retractable. That's what I'm trying to think of. Retractable leash. Um, I just made it so they'd have to stay close to me and, to, you know, and walk good. And I don't know. I don't really remember. It just seems like they've all been pretty good walkers. Ginger was a good walker, so when we walked Mozzie with Ginger, he kind of took her lead um, in the walking. And then, of course, then we got Max, Marley, Miggy, and now Magnum. Um, and they just kind of took Mozzie's lead and just kind of learned from each other. Didn't really have any specific way that I taught them except keeping them close to you when you're walking to keep control of them at first. And I think there was another question about that, how uh, Magnum's doing on a leash so far and to be honest with you I have not started walking him yet <laughs> I was waiting till he knew his name good which he knows his name good now and you know if you guys stand up and waiting for him to grow into the type of harness I like to use so it fits him now so I'm thinking even maybe tonight I'm gonna start walking him with Miggy because Miggy is his, their buds. So I'm hoping, now it may not work out because they like to play a lot in our house, stuff like that. I may have to walk them with Mozzie, who's a good walker. But I'm hoping since he's Miggy's bud, he'll, because I have had a leash on him, but in the house, and he won't move. <laughs> so I'm hoping if I walk him with Miggy, and Miggy starts walking, because Miggy loves to go on walks. He'll just kind of follow Miggy's lead. So that's what I'm going to try out. And I'll try to um, 
videotape that for you guys too. Woo! Mizey's hair is so soft and flyaway, and it just sticks right to you. I got this new uh, cover up at Sally Beauty Supply. It's supposed to be anti static to repel hair. Well, there's hair on me. <laughs> but at least it's going on this and not my clothes. Because I would just wear an apron. And it would still, it would get all over my clothes and it would just terrible. So yeah, I'm going to try Magnum on a leash either here tonight or tomorrow. Since now he knows his name good so I can correct him. And walk him with Miggy who he may see Miggy walking and he, he wants to follow him. So maybe he'll do good that way. I'm not going to leave a um, skirt on him. I'm going to end up shaving him down on the belly. So if you guys are wondering while you're watching. And I'm going to be back here after I get this stuff done. Anyway, okay. Hope I'm not rambling too much, you guys. Um, do my dogs get any other food besides kibble, like chicken or beef? Um, I don't give them beef. But I do give them a piece of my chicken sometimes if it's not too heavily seasoned. Or I'll cook a little piece for them. But that's about it. I usually only give them their kibble and then their uh, little fat treats during the day. And they only get treats. They get a dental treat at 3 o'clock, around 3. And then they get a treat if I got to put them in their crate. Um, if I'm going somewhere, like right now, the other four boys are in their crate while I'm grooming him. And... That's about the only time they really get treats. I don't give them a ton of treats because I don't want them to be overweight. Schnauzers are prone to diabetes. Um, and it makes with his pancreatitis attack he had. I don't want him to have too much fat going on during the day and get sick. So I'll sometimes give them some scrambled eggs. Um, if I don't have a lot of salt and pepper on them, give them a bite of that. Um, a vegetable like green beans or something like that. But they usually don't get table scraps. I did try making them their own food sometimes, but after I read on it, once you cook the meat and stuff, a lot of the nutritional value is gone for dogs. So I stopped that too. And I just give them their kibble and the treats they get during the day. Okay, I gotta stop the video and I'll clean up some of this hair because it's bugging me. Be right back. Okay, got that hair cleaned up a little bit. All right, the next question. And I was watching back the video I just shot, and sorry I couldn't really answer about the leash, uh, the leash question uh, any better. But I'll try to videotape uh, walking Magnum. So you can kind of see what we do. So, I can get very rambly, you guys, I swear. <laughs> Sometimes I watch back my uh, videos and I cringe. And I think, why do people watch me? <laughs> okay, what's the next question? Do I get nervous when I trim my dog's nails? Yes. Even though I've been trimming them for a long time now, I still do get nervous. Um, and what do I use to trim them? I use these um, trimmers. I've had these, I think, ever since I started grooming. Um, they're from Top, Top Paw, and, um, I got them at PetSmart, but I use these and really like them, and they've lasted a long time. Okay, I'm going to try to do his back end a little bit, the back of his legs. Um, where do I get my harnesses from? I usually, I get them from Walmart. I get them from Walmart, and I think the brand is called Simply Dog. I had a, I have a video on it, and I'll link it below. It talks more about the harnesses I use, so I'll link that below. Let's see here. Do they line? This is from my friend Alicia. Do they line up differently now that we have Magnum? And I haven't um, paid attention to know. 
I think they do. I don't think they really line up in order anymore. They would line up in order for pictures, when I gave them their treats, everything. <laughs> so yeah, um, I haven't really paid attention, but I don't think they do line up in the same order anymore because Magnum is a little stinker and has got them all flustered because he's all over the place jumping around for treats and stuff. So there you go, Alicia. I don't think so. Um, turn you around. Let's see, how did you know which pup you wanted out of a litter? Well, when we um, went to get Magnum and the other boys, we kind of, some breeders you can't, and this isn't true with all breeders, some people buy um, schnauzers just from a picture because they're getting them from a breeder from quite a ways away, and some people even have their schnauzer um, flown to them. Um, so some people don't get to play with their puppy they pick out, but every ones I've ever play, uh, got to pick out, I have played with first to see. And I played with many a puppies since we got Magnum, and some dogs you feel a connection with, and this is at least with me. Some dogs you feel a connection with, and some dogs you don't. Um, there is many of other puppies I could have got, and I didn't. So. That's kind of how we've known with all our dogs. We've gotten to play with them and interact with them. So, um, will we do swimming in Goodner Chair? No, we got rid of our swimming pool because um, that big tree in the middle of our yard can't have a swimming pool in the yard. And my dogs do not like the little swimming pools because they won't go in them. The only reason they went in those is because we put them in there. <laughs> So, no, we won't be doing swimming. Maybe our next house, because um, we're not going to live in this house forever. Once my son graduates, um, sometime around that time, we'll be probably be moving to a different area. Um, so, we won't have this house forever. So, maybe we'll have a pool again. What do we, what do you do with the boys when you leave the house? Do you put them in their crates or let them run the house? We put them in their crates because I can imagine, and I don't know if I've ever talked about this before. If I go outside and I leave just my boys in the house and I'm outside watering flowers or picking up the yard, mowing the lawn, whatever. One of them likes to pee on stuff because they're angry because I'm outside and they're not outside. So there's no way we could let them have the run of the house because they'd probably tear stuff up and somebody likes to pee and stuff because they're mad when they don't get to go with us. So, no, they go in their crates. And I'm going to do his head now, guys. Um, how do, how did or do you handle the barking? Well, if you, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you saw that when Mozzie would bark at the chipmunks, I bought, bought that Stop That Spray by Sentry. I'll link that below if you're interested in watching it. Because he would sit there and bark and bark at that chipmunk forever if I let him. And I used that to stop the barking um, for that situation. But for when, the, when someone's at the door or FedEx man knocks on the door, they bark. I don't yell at them. I don't stop them because that's their job is to let us know when someone's in the yard or at the door um, when someone comes over they will bark and they will jump they will jump up and down for about a minute or less once you pet them and acknowledge them they stop they calm down and they go back and lay on the couch <laughs> um, they don't bark for long periods of time now if they're outside and one of my neighbors is outside and they're barking and barking I bring them in the house because I don't want my neighbors mad. I don't want I, I don't want them to get annoyed with my dogs. So I just bring them in the house till the neighbors go inside. And then if they want back out, I let them out. So that's how we deal with it. They don't bark all the time like Mozzie would with that chipmunk. <laughs> so oh, just a minute guys. I'm doing by his ear here. Okay. Um is Magnum from the same breeder as the other boys? 
And is Magnum related to Miggy? No, Magnum is not related to Miggy. The only boys that are somewhat, well, are related, they have the same dad, is Mozzie and Marley. And I don't like to talk about breeders too much on my channel, if you guys have noticed, is because I've had some nasty mail uh, messages, I should say, sent to me because my dogs are not rescues. And I should not buy from breeders. That I should not, you know, people don't want you to buy from puppy stores. They don't want you to buy from breeders. They just want you to rescue. And so I don't talk about it much on my channel because I've had some nasty messages. And I don't want to get info away on breeders or, you know, anything because people can be cruel. <coughs> and... I would have loved to rescue. I wanted I wanted puppies. Um, I wanted them to uh, grow up with me as puppies and be able to train them and, you know, whatever. I wanted puppies and it's hard to find rescued, to be able to rescue a Schnauzer puppy in this area. There are a lot of, there is a great rescue, Great Lakes um, mini Schnauzer rescue. And they do, they get rescues every now and then, not a lot, and but they're usually a year or older, and I wanted puppies, so, um, but people can be mean, so, um, if I could have rescued a schnauzer puppy, I would have. So, that's why I don't talk about, um, breeders much on my channel or anything to do with that, because I just don't want to deal with the negativity. So, we'll leave it there. The only ones that are related are Mozzie and Marley, and they have the same dad. Um, nobody else is related, um, and they weren't all from the same breeders. So, we'll leave it there, and that's all I'm going to talk about with breeders on my channel. And I hate to be that way, but that's just how it's got to be. <laughs> um, because of the negative people. Okay. Oh. When grooming, do you leave whiskers long in their beards or cut them short? I trim, I trim up their beards, and then if any stray whisk whiskers are sticking out, I just cut them to where you can't. I don't cut them real short, but I cut them to where they're not sticking out of the beard. Is how I deal with the whiskers. I don't cut them real short, just to where you can't see them uh, coming out of the beard. Um, which one is the most cuddly? Mozzie's the most cuddly. He will cuddle with you. The other dogs, um, uh, Marley will cuddle some, and the other dogs, no. They'll lay by you, but they don't want to be cuddled <laughs> at all. Especially Magnum. He's, he's out of there. He's too busy. <laughs> Mickey will cuddle a teeny bit, but not a lot. Um... How is Kitten doing with Magnum, and did all the boys play well together? Yes, the boys play well together. They don't fight. Do they sometimes get a little rough? Yes. Um, kitten don't mind Magnum at all. Magnum don't mind Kitten. Uh, kitten actually play, wants to play with Magnum sometimes. Um, so they're getting along great. Which one wiggles the most and takes the longest to groom? This guy. <laughs> this guy, he hates to get groomed. He makes it very difficult to just hurry up and get groomed. I wish he could understand me like a human. Like I tell him, if you just cooperate, we'd be done. But he hates it. And he was the one that um, got groomed by a groomer the most before I started grooming. So maybe he had... Some bad experiences. I never noticed cuts or anything with the groomer we used. I always liked her, but maybe he had some bad experiences at the groomer and he remembers them. And maybe that's why he's the most difficult to groom. Okay, last question. Oh, it was the same one. How is Magnum on a leash? Like I said, I have not really put him on a leash except for in the house. He didn't like it. He wanted to eat it. So, we're gonna. Why you got your head hanging? Show everybody your pretty face. 
got the top of his head done and around the eyes a little bit, but still got to do the beard, the eyebrows, and I'm going to cut his beard down. It's a little too long for me. Probably about an inch or so take off right there. It's a little too long. So that was all the questions that I had at the time of uh, filming this. So if there was one that you asked and I didn't get answered, it's probably because I hadn't seen it because I had to start grooming Mozzie. So I hope all these uh, were informative. If you have any other questions or have some tips for me with anything, um, let me know in the comments below. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Say bye, Mozzie. Say bye. <laughs> I almost forgot, guys. I wanted to share some mail I got uh, last week also. Um, I got this cute card from Beverly. Belated birthday card from Miggy. And she sent a Target gift card for Miggy to get a new basketball. And I'll insert a clip of him getting his new basketball at the end of this. So keep a, a lookout, Beverly, at the end of this video. Um, thank you so much. You're so kind to the boys and myself. Thank you. Um, we also got Magnum a little basketball and got a bunch of treats, stocked up on treats too with that gift card. And then from Linda and David in Indianapolis, uh, sent some, a nice letter and sent photos of their dog. Oh, let's see here. Which one's this? This is Sissy. And I believe this is Holly. Yes. And this is them at eight months. She got both these dogs for her husband this past Christmas. And they're, they're beautiful dogs. Beautiful. I'm hoping Magnum is as cute as this one. <laughs> um, so these pictures are going to go downstairs in my grooming room too. Any pictures I get, I've been hanging on the wall in my grooming room so I can see them all the time. So she sent me a Schnauzer Mom coffee cup, which will go up with my other sh uh, dog coffee cups on my shelf out in the kitchen. Love it. It's so cute. And then she sent me this t-shirt that says, best miniature schnauzer mom ever. So I still have to wash this. I still have to do some laundry. Wash it up so I can wear it. I love it. So thank you guys so much uh, for thinking of us and uh, being so kind. What did you get? <laughs> Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Miggy, Miggy, say, say thank you, Beverly. Thank you.